Hello, I'm Brian, Captain, Editor of the Banker at Cybos 2016 Geneva. Uh, I'm with Joy McKnight, who's Deputy and Technology Editor. We're, we're coming to the end of the, the, the show, Joy. Uh, it's been four hard days. Um, but what have been the main themes for you this year? I think, as we said in our pre Cybos video, the cybersecurity was top. Yeah, and uh, that was even mentioned thing. at the plenary session. Yeah, right? exactly. So, um, but all the way through, so all the different sessions, everybody touched on it. Um, you know, if you think and about this is a result of the Bangladesh. Thing, yes, right? exactly. So it's really about how the banking community is coming together to really fight those cyber threats. Uh, interestingly, though, last year there was a huge amount of buzz around blockchain, right. and I see this year that the conversation has really matured. So a lot of banks are doing their uh, proof of concepts uh, and uh, you know teaming up together, um, doing inter internal things as well with blockchain. Um, right, and they start to be, seem to be working out, you know, what is hype and what is reality a little bit. Yeah, you, I think so. That? Yeah, 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 definitely. I think so. And they, I saw a lot of things around trade finance are doing things around, and then also security services. I think that's where blockchain is really going to make a difference. Um, but also the other new technologies that are coming into play and different innovations that are happening. What have you seen on the floor? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously a lot on innovation and um, Interestingly, I mean, I was doing a panel where we were discussing innovation and regulation, and, and you might not think there's too much relationship, but actually, if you start to look at regulations, th there's a clear division between those that are very prescriptive, like AML, KYC, those kinds of regulations, and things which are designed to actually foster innovation and be transformative, of which PSD2 is the obvious example. A lot of interesting conversations around PSD2. And there's differences as well between the style of regulation in different parts of the world. So in the States, you know, you have your prescriptive regulations and then it's really left to the market to be innovative. But in Europe, I think the regulators are expected to actually drive competition and innovation. And some of the regulations are designed to do just that. Um, but also, I mean, obviously we're at uh, Cybos, so this is correspondent banking, and, and you were chairing a panel on correspondent banking. How did you find that? Yeah, yeah so the panel was actually called Reinvented Correspondent Banking, and it was really good because we had a corporate from yeah. GE Treasury on the panel, really giving the, the customer's point of view, yeah. and then three banks that responded. I thought the uh, remarks by Susan Skerritt at Deutsche Bank were the most sort of provocative. Right, because well, she talked about consolidating the industry, is that yeah, right? Yeah, well she actually said that probably almost 30% of the banks that are in correspondent banking will exit, right? right. And, and so, this is because of the need to have scale and efficiency, presumably. Yeah, exactly. And there's, it also ties into all the, the de-risking as well. It just means that the compliance cost of due diligence on all these different customers is becoming too much for a lot of the banks. So they also talked about how they were going to innovate within the space and work together, collaborate, in order to, to really drive forward um, sort of like a new correspondent banking model. So yeah, it was very interesting. Joy, it sounds like the party's already started. We'll have to go back and get changed and get ready for the party. And then, of course, we have to Toronto next year. So fantastic. Fantastic time in Toronto.